Hey, what's up? This is Pete here, and it's time for you, you got it, to build ultimate confidence. All right, welcome to day number 13. Unlucky for some, but not for everyone, and not for you, my friend. As you can see, I've got my little guys behind me. I'm gonna explain that in just a moment, but I wanna ask you a really straightforward question. Do you want bulletproof confidence and one which is unshakable, and you know that in any situation, you can uh, maintain that confidence, keep your certainty, and you can go and influence others? Well, today's tip especially, it's going to help you to do that. You'll see by the title of this video that it's all about the value that you add. You may have heard already that in order to be successful in business, for example, you've got to go out there and add value. In fact, it's gone on YouTube, because they're on YouTube right now, and you can look at a bunch of experts saying the way to create your dream life is to go out there and add value. Well, that is a great generic quote but it misses so much of the psychology and also the overall law of the universe when it comes to adding value. So let me show you what I've got behind me here. It's these two guys. This is you, by the way. So this is you, you're in your, your, you know, your confidence mode, and this is another person. It can be a friend, a colleague, or, or whatever. It's entirely up to you how you see it. So I've always said that if I wanna improve a part of my life, instead of, uh, getting upset that that part of my life isn't going well. Say I want to make more money, for example, right? Rather than sitting around going, oh, you know, it's so rubbish that I'm not making money. Why can't someone help me? Because I made a decision a number of years ago to move from the passenger seat of my life into the driver's seat of my life instead of saying, why don't I have more money? Whenever I felt that I needed more money, I would say, okay, Pete, how do I add more value? And that's what led me to going out there and adding value. And we're gonna really relate back to this here, yeah? So let's say this person, right? You add value to their life. So you say, right, I'm gonna add value. So I'm gonna um, you know, share some knowledge, share some time, we're gonna help this person. But where we go wrong when it comes to adding value is that we expect a transaction to take place. So what I mean by that is that we say, well, I helped you with this project, so therefore, I gotta call that favor back in later on. And the issue with this here is that then you only keep the relationship at this level. Does this make sense? So you're basically, uh, maybe buy this person a coffee, so now you feel that they owe you a coffee or they owe you lunch or whatever. But the, the law of the universe doesn't work that way because that doesn't keep you in flow. When you have confidence, it means you can do something for someone else or you can add value to somebody else's life and expect nothing in return. And if you think about confident brands that are out there, which are all multi-billion dollar companies, you've got Facebook, you've got YouTube, you've got Google, uh, you've got Instagram, all these different brands. Think about this for a moment. On a personal level, how much money have you given these brands? Oh, the answer is zero. Sure, if you have a business, you've given them money. But the reason why I call these confident brands because they know the secret of the universe when it comes to adding value. And that is this here. What we do, instead of expecting something to come back to us from this person, we know, simply in fact, I'm gonna wipe this off here. We know, or Facebook knows, whether you like or hate Facebook, by adding value to this person's life, number one, you're already getting the transaction because you feel good that you're making somebody else's life better. Now, this is where the clever thing comes in, and this is where you get in flow. Because by adding value here, if you can have that confidence, and by the way, this is why it is all about confidence. If you can have that confidence, I'm gonna do this for this person over here, but know that the universe will reward you on some level, and maybe if you share some time, or advice, or knowledge, or whatever for this person, then in another way, the universe is gonna flow. So this is really how the energy goes. It flows, and just because you help Sally out, maybe somebody down here or somebody up here is gonna help you out in a different way. That is how we get into peak confidence. 
But I'll tell you what most people do, and you know this already, when we're not feeling confident, when we end up doing something for somebody else, and that isn't reciprocated by that person, we start to feel insecure. We start to feel like, oh my goodness, look, I do all this for that other person. What have they done for me? And I don't want you to have poor me syndrome. I want you to have, I've got this syndrome. And when you know you've got this, you know that you can give all this advice, all this knowledge, or just share your time and help other people. And then from there, the universe will pay you back anyway. The best way to solve your problems in life is to go and help other people solve their problems. But the next step is to know that you're not expecting that person to pay you back directly. So by doing this, uh, and you're just starting with something simple, it can make a profound shift in how you feel about yourself. I kid you not, this has helped me increase my income, this has helped me uh, be better with the relationships in my life, it's helped me become a better business person, and overall it's just helped me have higher self-esteem. So I want you to think about how this is gonna help you in your life too. So comment below, let me know how you're gonna get in flow when it comes to adding value to the world. Thank you so much, I'll see you tomorrow.